Good morning, boys and girls. It is Thursday, and today <clears throat> we're going to take a little step back and do a review. We're going to find some equations of lines from graphs. Okay, kind of the same thing we were doing uh, two days ago with scatter plots, except there aren't dots all over the graph, there's just a line. Okay, so what I want you to do is watch the YouTube video, which you're doing right now, and problem solve with me while I explain the assignment. Okay, then you're going to follow the IXL link and you're going to work for 25 minutes or until you get a score of 100. You're going to contact me if you don't understand because you won't receive full credit for 25 minutes of work and a score of zero. Um, you, you need to get to 60. Okay, you're going to add a private comment about your score and time spent and mark it as done. Okay, when you click on the IXL link, it's going to bring you right here. Okay, you're looking at a graph that looks something like this. Okay, and we need to remember that every point on this line has an X value and a Y value. Okay, I'm going to take a snapshot of this. Okay, this is a review from earlier in the year. Remember, all these concepts are connected. Okay, everything we learned yesterday, we're, we're building on that, okay, and we're using that for something more involved today. Now, when we look at this graph, what is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form? We need to remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. That means the value of y, the value on the y-axis, is equal to the slope, the change in y, over the change in x, m is equal to the change in y over the change in x, or y minus y divided by x minus x. And it doesn't matter, you can flip-flop the order there. You can do y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2, it's all the same. And then b Remember that B is the y-intercept. B is where our line crosses the y-axis, okay? On some of these, we can, we can see where the line crosses the y-axis. So, so we're going to look at this graph, and we're going to find the slope, and we're going to find the y-intercept, and we're going to write an equation. Now, I'm going to circle with this little um, galaxy pen there. That's the y-intercept. Our line is going to cross right there at 0, 0. Okay, so B equals zero. B equals zero. And we don't even, we're not even going to need to write that into the equation, okay? Because plus zero, that doesn't change anything, okay? Now, let's find our slope. Let's find the change in Y over the change in X. What I need to do is find two points of intersection here, okay? So I know I have one down here at zero comma zero. Now I know I have another one right here. It goes right through this point, which is, let's see, this is 100. It's half of 200, and this is 100. Each one of these little lines is worth 100. So this point right here is at 100, comma, 200. Okay, and it's really important that, we, that we're not just saying, um, up one and over one because we're actually going up 200 and over 100 okay so I'm gonna highlight my change in Y I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my change in Y uh, green right my change in Y is right here okay change in Y equals 200 and then my change in X I'll make that blue my change in X, I go from 0 to 100. So my change in X equals 100. So we said M equals, I'm going to go back to that black pen. M equals the change in Y, 200, over the change in X, 100. So it's equal to 2. M equals 2, and we said B equals 0. So we just put those values into our equation. So y equals 2x plus 0, which we don't need. So we just erase that. Okay. So then I just type it in here. It says write your answer using integers, proper fractions, and improper fractions in simplest form. So we need to reduce any fractions. There are no fractions in our answer this time. So let me look one more time. y equals 2x. 
y equals 2x. And there we go. That's the equation of that line. Okay, we're doing the same thing again. Now, these will get faster as we go. This is, this is review. It should start to come back to you a little bit. Okay, and again, this line, it's passing through the origin. Okay, it crosses through the origin. B equals zero. It's a proportional relationship. Okay, remember that term, proportional relationship. Since we're reviewing, if it passes through the origin, it's a proportional relationship. Now we're going to find the slope. We're going to find the change in y over the change in x. Okay, we've got our one point here. And then the next point of intersection, as we follow all the way up this line, it's right here. Okay, so we're at 0, 0, and we're at um, 10, 70. So our change in y is equal to, let's see, I'll highlight that green again. We go all the way up there to 70. So change in y is 70. And then we go over, let's see here. Let me do this better. My change in y. Let's see. Change in y is right there. Change in y equals 70. And my change in x is right here. And that's 10. We went from 0 to 10. So change in x equals 10. So my slope, m, is equal to change in y over change in x. So it's 70 over 10, which if you type that into your calculator or you just know, you can cancel those out and 7 divided by 1 equals 7. So that's the slope and b equals 0. We found b was equal to 0. It went through the origin, m equals 7. And we're going to put those values in the equation, y equals mx plus b. So y equals 7x. Okay, That line has a positive slope. It starts low on the left and goes high on the right. So y equals 7x. We're going to submit that. And we got that right, and we're going to look at another one. Okay, As we look at this graph, Immediately, I can see that it's not a proportional relationship. It's non-proportional. It does not pass through the origin. And I can also see that it's going to have a positive slope. Okay. First thing I'm going to do right here, I made a green dot. Okay. And that's my y-intercept. That's where the line crosses the y-axis. So b equals negative 1. Then I'm going to find my slope. I'm going to pick two points of intersection. I'm going to make another point up here. And it doesn't really matter which point you choose on that line. Okay, but I'm going to make a slope triangle, and I'm going to make that red. I'm going to connect these dots with a right triangle. Okay, So I went up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my change in y equals 5, and my change in x, I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So my change in x equals 5. So that's m equals change in y over change in x, which is equal to 5 over 5, which is equal to 1. Okay, we could have made lots of different slope triangles here, right? I can go down one and over one from that point to that point, okay? And again, it's a positive slope. And again, we're plugging those into y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form of an equation contains the slope or the rate of change or the unit rate and the y-intercept. So we have y equals 1x minus 1. And I don't need that 1 there because 1 times any number is the number. So I can simplify that further and write y equals x minus 1. Whatever x is equal to on this line, right? I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to mark a point right here with the galaxy pen, okay? That point is negative 5, negative 6. Negative 5, negative 6. Now, if I plug those values into that equation, it should be true. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to go back to this over here. I'm going to do negative 6 equals x is negative 5 minus 1. Negative 6 does equal negative 5. It helps us find any point on that line. Okay, that's the purpose of this. That's all we're doing, boys and girls. We're, we're writing an equation in slope-intercept form. And we said that was y equals um, x minus 1. All right, I'm going to skip a few levels, see if we get to anything. Same thing. And that's the same thing with just slightly bigger numbers. So I'm going to do one more with you guys, and then you're on your own. Okay, if you have questions, you're going to come find me later. You guys are working along with me. You're solving these problems with pencil and paper and your own calculators and whatever you have. Now I'm going to look at this graph and I'm going to write the equation of the line in slope intercept form. First, my y intercept is right there. Okay, each one of these lines is worth 10. So I'm at negative 70. So b equals negative 70. Okay, then I'm going to pick two points of intersection. I'm going to do this in red. Okay, I've got a point right here, and I've got a point right here. And if I go up, and I go over to connect those with a right triangle, I went up by 30, change in y. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in here. Change in y equals, I went 1, 2, and they're 10 each, so that's 20. And my change in x, I went 1 unit, and they're 10 each. So that's 20 divided by 10, which is equal to 2. So my slope is 2, and my y-intercept is negative 70, right? It's way below 0. So my equation is y equals 2x minus 70. Okay, we go up two units and over one unit. Let's try it. Y equals 2x minus 70. Y equals 2x. Y equals 2x minus 70. All right, and that's it, boys and girls. That's all I'm going to do with you guys today. I'm really excited uh, about the end of the year ceremony that we're going to put together. I'm really excited to see your responses to those um, why you matter questions and kind of offer you some feedback on how you can um, improve your writing and, and just kind of see what you guys are all about and what your ideas are. Um, back to the math. If you have questions about this stuff, I'm here for you. Okay. Find me in the Zoom room. You know where I'm at. Enjoy your day.